Uh, I by no means know everything at all. Actually, I, I think I kind of suck when it comes to like technicalities of a camera. Like, I just know, okay, this dial here, okay, yeah, this makes the light go down, this makes the light go up, okay, shoot it. Sony A7, three lenses, two of which were my father's vintage lenses and a passion for medieval film and photography. That's it. You know, I never went to school for filmmaking. I started when I was like 10, 11 years old. Uh, it was me, my brother, a few friends from school, and we'd go out on the weekends, you know, and we had like one of those, one of those fat old school cameras when you put the tape in there and we'd pop it. You do not need the grade A equipment, top notch stuff to put something out of value. Technique with the camera means so much more. When I wasn't filming something, I was studying film, and I still study films. I want to understand, you know, why does a movie hit me the way it does? Why does a scene hit me the way it does? What is it about the camera motion, the way the, the, way the actors are moving, the music in the background, how does everything reinforce each other? And you see what you do is you answer those questions and then you implement those answers inside the work that you do. The beautiful thing about that kind of knowledge is that it costs no money. So I had this joke with a lot of my friends and I always said that photography was for people who couldn't hold down a real job. When I was growing up I spent a lot of time with my father and I, and I watched him paint these paintings based on Tintoretto, Titian, you know, all the old masters, Caravaggio being my favorite. It just kind of started, I just kind of started doing it just as a hobby, just for fun. You know, it was, I just wanted to recreate these old master paintings into photography. Good photography is not what you're taking a picture of. It's how you're taking a picture of what you're taking a picture of. You know, you never really know what the end result is gonna look like, and uh, to a certain extent, all you have to do is trust the process, walk the path, which I currently am, am walking every single day. As I'm on this path and as I'm, as I'm doing this, you know, I'd love to just, you know, fill you guys in on like just tips and tricks that I use to make things look, you know, to make things look crazier than they actually are. <laughs> My name is Ethan Popa. Welcome to my world, baby. <laughs>